In this video, I'm going to share with you the difference between snowshoes, skis, and crampons for mountaineering, climbing, and snow travel. There are a big difference between each of those, obviously, but I'm going to give you five different considerations that you want to think about when you're choosing these different tools. This question came from a viewer and hopefully subscriber, Eric Ice. Great name, I love it. Eric Ice asked in my video how to start mountaineering and climbing talking about gear. Eric Ice said, I am surprised you did not mention when you use snowshoes. Sometimes they're necessary, right? Absolutely, Eric Ice. Unfortunately, in that video, I could not download every piece of gear that you possibly might want to know. That's why I wrote Adventure Expedition 1. If you really want to read about it, all the different tools that you're going to need to really do this stuff pretty hardcore, there you go. So let's talk about it. When do you choose snowshoes? When do you choose skis? And when do you choose crampons? All right. So if you're going to go to Denali, straight away you're going to want some snowshoes. I love my MSR snowshoes. These are super great. Recently, I damaged the decking on my new Lightning Ascents. I've tried to sew it together, but that really stunk. Uh, I found this fabric, even though I said they're the ultimate snowshoe, this fabric is not as tough as the old fabric on my MSR Lightnings without the heel ascender. So that is a crazy critical factor is when you're going mountaineering and you think you're going to need snowshoes, I'll tell you critical reasons why. Having that heel elevator so when you're climbing and it keeps you level is huge. The first time I went to Denali, I was using these snowshoes without the heel elevator and man, my calves hurt. I was crippling to go from, from uh, was it 7,000 camp to 9,300 or whatever it is. Holy moly, if you decide to go on snowshoes, you must get the one with the heel elevator, otherwise you're going to be miserable. Now, Eric Heiss made a good point. Snowshoes are necessary, right? Absolutely. One of the dangers about traveling on glaciers around Denali is the crevasses. If you were just hiking in your lowly crampons and you're hoofing it along in your climbing boots and you're only in your crampons, you have a good chance of punching through a snow bridge, ending up into your leg, your waist, up to your crotch, or worse, falling completely through into a crevasse. It could be super, super dangerous. That's why I only travel on snowshoes or skis when I'm doing that, especially if I'm doing it solo, because what these do is they distribute the load to reduce the chance that I might punch through. Second factor is the float. Having snowshoes makes a huge difference than just punching through on crampons and how efficiently you travel. If you're just on crampons and you've got a nice long haul, the snowshoes will be a, such a superior experience to using crampons. Now, once you get into the technical climbing areas where you're doing a lot of crazy stuff, like going from 9,500 up to 11.2K camp, you can't use snowshoes. It's just too steep. The curves are a little bit wild, so you need to switch over to crampons. Can't recommend that enough. I've tried it in snowshoes and it's okay, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not pleasant. And going around Windy Corner, you better have crampons, trust me on this one. Now, if you're climbing like the Cascade Mountains, Adams, Hood, uh, Rainier, oh, um, St. Helens and all those guys, you generally will not see people traveling on snowshoes, but should I eventually climb Rainier whenever that gets to happening? I would like to have snowshoes up there because there are crevasses and people have fallen through and gotten hurt or worse. The snowshoes are great, but they are not great for technical climbing. That's why you have to have the crampons. Now, efficiency, whoa. Efficiency versus uh, fit. The problem is with my snowshoes, putting in my huge mountaineering boots, my big old Malay mountaineering boots barely fit in the snowshoes. With the new design of the mesh that they have on these, I don't even think they will. I don't even know what I'm gonna do once I destroy these. 
that's going to stink. So that is a big consideration is making sure that your boots actually fit into the snowshoes because you can have some real problems with that. So that is a factor. Also compared to skis, for efficiency, snowshoes suck. I mean, they just suck. You're literally dragging the tail of the snowshoe for miles and miles and miles or kilometers and kilometers versus skis with a track pad or kicker skins or full skins. It's just more efficient. Now, skis can be way more awkward, but they do provide better float than snowshoes. This is absolute truth because these skis also bridge crevasses way better than snowshoes do because they distribute the load and they're so much longer. There is a lower chance of you falling through a crevasse. Not an absolute zero, but eh. Now, that's point number four is efficiency of travel. Skis are simply more efficient to travel on. The problem is getting bindings that will fit a mountaineering boot. <laughs> Good luck with that. I know there are some, I've been looking for some, but man, if I could have my skis doing that with a mountaineering boots instead of using ski boots, because I did see a guy several years ago in Denali who bought the extra big ski boots and while we're standing in here, camp here, this crack, like a 22 shot. And you look over and the dude's boot, it was so cold. It was like minus 20, minus 30 that morning. The dude's boot actually split open. And by the time he was able to deal with it, he got frostbite in his toes. It was bad. It really stung. So efficiency and getting the right boots is a big, big factor. And the number five point of why I prefer skis over snowshoes, if I can do it, because I'm not a great downhill skier, I admit that, is a fun factor. Snowshoes, as you're walking downhill, they're not very fun. It's just clop, 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 all awkward. Skis are skis. It's way more fun. So the problem is snowshoes are super efficient in that they're easier to handle than skis. If you get in awkward situations, where you get to fumble around, you can kind of work through it in snowshoes. If you get into an awkward situation with skis, you're in real trouble. Unless you're a really good skier, don't go mountaineering skiing because there's a chance that you might get hurt. So that is something to consider. Hopefully this has been helpful to help you understand the difference between the snowshoes, the crampons, and the skis when you're doing mountaineering. My name is Aaron Linstow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out my books in the description. Antarctic Tears, Lost in Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my shows, Antarctic Tears, and World Beyond. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about fun gear.